So Calvin, what happened last night with your weather? Uh, thunderstorm blew up, had 80 to 100 mile an hour winds, depending where you're at. Uh, leveled most of the crops, had a pretty good band of hail come through that got beans, alfalfa, corn all stripped up. Uh, some guys lost some grain bends, some machine sheds, uh, a lot of trees broke, power lines. The towns of uh, Fairbank to Hazleton, I would say, were the worst hit. When it comes to your crop, how much of your crop do you think is damaged at this time? Uh, as of right now, me personally, I would say 85% of my corn's pretty well flat and or leaning hard. A uh, third of my beans got hailed on pretty bad. But my dad and my uncle farm farther south and west, and they didn't get hit hardly at all. They got a little bent over corn, but nothing too bad. Do you think this is hurt yield this point when it's almost September? Depends if we can pick it up or not. That's to be determined, I guess. If we can pick it up. I mean, sure, it's not going to help anything by any means, but we'll see. I don't know. It depends if it broke off or if it's just leaning. I know it's probably too premature for me to ask you, but you have livestock. Do you know, are you going to harvest this as high moisture corn right now? Or are you probably going to cut this for silage? Or are you assessing what you're going to do? Uh, we won't chop it for silage. It's too far away from the home farm and it's laying too flat. The uh, silage head won't pick it up. Uh, we'll start combining probably right after black layer, you know, 30%, 28%, just because it's easier to pick up and stock's still a little green. It'll hold on to that ear, but we'll put it in the dryer and we're just going to spend the money on the propane, get it dried, then haul it back out after that, just like normal corn.